So in this video, I have a really, really cool tech tip that I actually didn't know about for the Unicore iMini that I just found out a couple days ago on how to do. And I think it's going to literally cut the cord and make this process a whole lot more simple for you at home. Stay tuned and check it out. Thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf simulators, and anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, click that bell notification for more videos like the ones you're watching here today. As always, if you have any golf simulator questions or looking to build a golf simulator of your own, reach out to me. That's what we do here at Garage Golf, completely free of charge to you at home. Roll in at mygaragegolf.com. All right, so if you followed our channel for a bit, you see I've had the iMini now for about nine months, and we did a full review on the iMini. If you haven't checked that out yet, I'll go ahead and put a link for that video, but don't check it out yet until you're done with this one, because I got a really, really cool tip. This entire time I've been using the iMini, you've always seen it attached with a CAT6 cord like you see here. Actually, all Unicore devices, including the IXO and QED, required a CAT6 cord, at least both ceiling-based launch monitors did, but I actually heard that that was changed recently, and there's a cool little tip to help you eliminate that CAT6 cord. So if you have a portable base setup, you don't want to be lugging a cord around with it. You don't even need the power cord for that matter because it has a built-in battery on the iMini. I'm going to show you how to do that today and exactly what you have to do. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Let's take you to the computer. I'll show you that real quickly, and we'll get that done for you guys at home. Okay, so just in case you have any issues at all, or this is the first time you're setting up your iMini to Wi-Fi, let me walk you quickly through what steps you would need to take to get this set up, or if you have any issues with connectivity at all, this is one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do on your iMini device. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna to go to Menu, and we're gonna go down to Settings. Go ahead and hit OK on Settings. And now we're going to go down to where we find page three of the settings. And we're going to go down to where we have Ethernet. And we want to make sure, select Ethernet, make sure that it's not on dynamic. Make sure that your Ethernet is actually on static. And then under Wi-Fi, you have some options there too. We either have AP for access point or station for client. We wanna make sure that we have it set on station. And now I'm actually gonna take you to the PC and then we're gonna back out of this all the way back to the home screen. One more. And I'm gonna take you to the PC. I'm gonna show you what we need to do on the actual Unicore launcher from here to make sure that this will actually connect properly. All right, and here you see I'm on the Unicore launcher site. And with everything we just did on the iMini, my ethernet cord has been plugged in during that time, just so you're aware. So if you're having any issues with it connecting wirelessly, make sure for the previous step that we just did, you have the ethernet cord plugged into your computer. And I will tell you at which point we can go ahead and remove that ethernet cord. Now that we're on the start tab under the Unicore launcher, all we gotta do is go into our settings tab here under your actual device, in this case the iMini, and we're gonna click on settings. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click refresh. And it's going to pull up my network here under the refresh once it was able to find the network. I'm going to type in my password for my network. And I'll bring you right back here in just a moment. Okay, password's typed in now. I'm going to go ahead and click on connect. And you're going to see now that we are connected to the selected Wi-Fi network. So now I can click close. And lastly, just so you're aware, I did reach out to the people at Unicor uh, just to make sure that I got these steps accurate for you guys at home. So it's definitely important. I wanted to make sure we did this the right way. Um, and I did get notified that from time to time, the iMini has had some issues with Wi-Fi. The latest firmware version, which is 2.3.28, is actually really, really good. It's the most stable that they've had for Wi-Fi connectivity. But every now and then you may get, um, very rarely you get an unpairing from the PC from the actual iMini device. And in that case, what they typically recommend, and typically that happens after like Windows does an update or something crazy, but typically what they would recommend in that situation is that we go back into our install settings. So if you ever notice an unpair and you go through the steps that we just take and it doesn't work for you, then the best thing to do according to them, and again, this is gonna be very rarely, would be to go back into your install tab that you see here, click your iMini, and then go through your install process again from the beginning. Uh, it should be a very quick process to do that. 
And then if you still have the issues where it's not connecting, do the exact steps we just took again with the Ethernet cord. So it has not been without some issues with the iMini. Uh, I continue to see firmware updates come out. So I think they're going to be fixing this obviously as much as possible moving forward. Uh, but if you want the cordless setup, you know, I don't, I personally don't mind the cord, but if I had righties and lefties, it would be a little bit different. So if you want an uncorded setup, then you're, this is going to be the steps that we would need to take. Should you have any actual issues with it in regards to troubleshooting, that's definitely the step you'd want to take. So you just want to go in here to install, go to iMini, go through the process again in that situation to go ahead and set up your actual iMini device. And at this point now, because we are connected via Wi-Fi, now we can remove the cord. So let's go ahead and walk you back. We'll remove the cord and we'll check status again just to make sure that everything's set up properly. All right, and as you see, I have my iMini here on the floor connected via a Cat6 cord. Let's go ahead and unplug it really quickly. So now we have the iMini completely cord free. It does have a built-in battery that will last quite a bit. It's no longer requiring the Cat6 cord, makes it super easy to maneuver, manipulate, adjust between righties and lefties as well. So let's set this back down now. Let's take a shot using the view software and let's see if it's still going to read that shot without the Cat6 cord. It's my first time testing it here at home as well. All right, so we got View set up. We're ready to take our shot. Now, just to clarify really quickly, you've always been able to use the iMini wirelessly at the range with something like an iPad, but I've never heard until recently in regards to connecting the iMini directly to your PC or gaming computer without the Cat6 cord. So anybody who's watching this video, and today is February 15th, 2024, if you knew when this came out, let me know. I'm curious a little bit. Um, I've heard from a couple of people recently when I talked to them on the phone uh, about this feature, so that's nice. I believe it's been less than a month, but I want to just verify. So if you know, let me know. But let's see. Let's take the shot and see if it registers it and uh, see if we have something really, really cool on our hands here. It's a quick little shot. And there's a shot. Horrible shot, but it's a shot. It read it, it read it right away. So get that cord and toss it aside. You don't need it anymore, at least not right away. Make sure you keep that cord probably in case you need to do an update or something. But it's nice having the ability to use the iMini the way it's intended as a portable device without a Cat6 cord. For a portable launch monitor, you don't want that cord. It's so much easier to move it back and forth without it. So really, really cool update in my book from the people at Unicor. Let me know your thoughts. Did you know about this hack or not? And uh, if you didn't, hopefully that'll change your entire situation if you have an iMini at home. As always, until the next time, keep on golfing. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.